Well, let, let us explain it to you. We, you. You will be able to hear this easily. So we're going to give you just what you ask for. Uh, ease right where you are right now. And we like your calling all of our attention to right here, right now, because this is where all of your power is. This is where your turning point is, where you can turn upstream or downstream. So we want to say to all of you something really worth writing down is I am where I am I am where I am and what that mean what we mean when we say that is you are in your physical format right now living the culmination of the way you've been flowing energy so what's manifesting right now in terms of everything in terms of health in terms of clarity in terms of finances in terms of relationships everything that is unfolding right now is as a result of what you've been thinking about and what you've been doing with your gap relative to that so what you're living is is we just want to say it just is it is and there's no point in fussing about what is esther said to jerry the other day at a very poignant moment in a conversation in a restaurant abraham never bails us out of a jam <laughs> and jerry sort of looked up from his salad what do you mean and esther said haven't you noticed that abraham guides us about improving our energy which improves things down the road but abraham's not big on telling us what to do in order to solve something because in truth nothing that you do is going to change anything very much right now because what's manifesting now must manifest now because it's the result of how you flowed earlier so follow this picture a little bit. So I float it and now I'm living it. And now as I'm living it, I'm flowing it. So if I float it and I'm living it and I'm irritated about what I'm living, then I'm flowing more of that and then I'm living it. And if I'm irritated about what I'm living, then I'm flowing. So somewhere you've got to break the evil spell, so to speak. You've got to break the cycle of that. And you have to do something different with your energy than you have been doing, which means you've got to stand in the middle of what is and find a way to feel different about what is. Because as you feel different about what is now what will be will change if you keep feeling the same way about what is then you just keep projecting it and projecting it and projecting it and nothing changes different places different faces but the same old essence of your life keeps showing itself to you over and over again so it's the same thing that esther realized while she was editing a tape and thinking that she wanted to go take a sailboat into gloriata bay instead what she realized is I'm going to do this because what is is but I have a choice about whether I grumble about it or whether I appreciate doing it and while she didn't have control over the condition and you don't have control over the condition of your finances right now there isn't anything that you can do that will change anything this red hot minute but you have so much control over the way you can mold your mind to think about it which will generate a different vibration which will cause a different feeling you can feel different about it. And if you feel different about it, now, you've already been doing that a little bit. You said you went from depression to hope. And we want to say to you, depression to hope is a big jump. And you say, yeah, but then I got impatient and I turned and went upstream again. And we say, it doesn't matter at any point. You can turn and go with the flow and turn and go with the flow. There's a game that we encourage. In fact, we offered this game to someone who was in the identical situation that you are talking about. And we said, take a columnar pad and list everything that you have to pay out on a monthly basis across this columnar pad. At the top of each column, put each item, whichever is the biggest one at the far left and whichever one is the smallest one at the far right. And so it was a house payment, and then it was a car payment, and then it was another payment, and another payment, and another payment. And way down on the end was a small little $12 payment. And then we said, now look at this and decide that you're going to make a game of this. In other words, right now, instead of looking at this as debt, look at it as your game of getting out of debt, your game of becoming debt free your game of getting a different handle of this your game of offering a different vibration about it and then we said make a decision that you're going to do your best to pay as much of this as you can and of course you can only do what you can do but the way you feel about it is everything so now make a decision that that smallest payment no matter what it is 
that you're not only going to pay it that is due, but you're going to double it. So if you owe $12, you're going to pay $24 on that. And then you're going to say to yourself, I do my best to keep my promises to my debtor, to my commitments. And in some cases, I do twice what is expected. And with that action and with that determination, there's a shifting in your energy that causes you for the first time in a long time to offer a different vibration about finances. Now, how different is it? Is it different enough that $2 million will end up on your mailbox today? <laughs> Probably not. But it's different enough that you feel different and different enough that you project something different over here. In other words, all that stuff, that fortune, there is a veritable fortune waiting for you in your vibrational escrow. And by playing that game and softening the way you feel about money, you just moved a little closer in the direction of it. And it is our promise to you, you don't have to play this game very long before you start going to the mailbox in excited anticipation of the bills that are there. You find yourself being more excited about making a double payment down there than you do about buying a $500 sweater. You would say, oh, instead of that $500 sweater, beautiful it is as it is, and off in my future it is, and someday I will come and I will buy something just like that or even more beautiful at the time. But right now, I would rather take this extra money that I could put toward that, and I'd rather whittle this away and whittle this away and whittle this away. And before you know it, you have loosened up the bind of debt. And another thing that happens is, as soon as that starts loosening up, now you've opened the floodgates because now you're not holding the money away from you because now you are flowing to debt free rather than toward debt. Can you feel how it works? And now money starts coming to you in surprising ways. You get rebates on things and people rebate your insurance and you win something at some little raffle and you play bingo and you win and you get an impulse to buy a ticket, a lottery ticket and it pays off and somebody offers to take you somewhere and, and buy you a nice dinner or someone offers something else to you that's, that, that has dollar equivalent in some way. And suddenly you begin to notice that, hey, things have loosened up all over the place. I'm spending less. I'm making more. My debt is becoming smaller. The difference between what's coming in and what's going out is a much more comfortable place. I feel entirely different. And now the universe says, hey, how do you like that sweater? And you say, ooh, I think I'll take that home. And you don't feel guilty about it because you do it from a place of financial balance rather than imbalance, you see.